almighty US dollar has an image problem. China, India and Russia are questioning its future as a global reserve currency. Time has come for a redesign of America's iconic currency. My name is Richard Smith, I'm a creative strategy consultant and I am the campaign president for the Dollar Redesign Project. The core idea of why perhaps the country is falling apart is money. And if we then sort of turn that into a branding project, maybe the way to fix our mon monetary problems is to rebrand it. Rebranding sounds like you're going backwards, but in a way you're going backwards to go forwards. So. Um, you have to look at the past to understand the future that you're going into. There's a groundswell of opinion that's kind of like, you know, we've got to do something, we've got to do something, something has to change. We voted for somebody who believed in change. Where is the change? I think, you know, Europeans are more accustomed to change overnight, accepting, you know, a new currency. I try to simplify it and say, like, okay, well, let's start with redesigning the dollar. And people, um, took that to mean that I had a very superficial idea. You know, people sort of said crazy things like, you know, it just doesn't look like money, and it's like, well, what is money supposed to look like? You know, it's, what's the point of, you know, fixing that? We need, you know, better healthcare, we need better jobs. Everybody talked about everything other than design, but they all bashed design because they, I said, like, let's redesign it. But I was using it as a, as a catalyst for change to kind of, you know, open up sort of people's ideas and, and minds. Consequently, what happened was, is exactly that. You know, I had people saying, like, you know, these are the values that this country should believe in. These are the symbols that this country should be represented by. These are the things that are wrong with this country, and these are the things that need to be fixed. Everybody has a different opinion, so they all put forward ideas. Part of the competition, we had a, a poll, which was, you know, if you could choose a new slogan for America, what would it be? And the one that seemed to resonate with most people was one nation, many colors. There's some different images and icons from the usual, such as, you know, the usual would be dead presidents or founding fathers or national monuments. Some of the ones that interested me were things such as the first man on the moon, imagery like that, which more speak to more of the idea of what makes this country great. I don't know really how it started, but actually um, some European blogs picked up on a story. It was a viral campaign that just escalated in, in the way that, you know, you sort of hear about with any other viral marketing campaign. You know, everybody thought it was a great idea. It was almost like the project hit a, a moment in time where everybody was kind of like waiting for that idea. You know, it's like any of those situations, it, you, it polarizes people. And there were hundreds and thousands of people that talked about it, blogged about it, commented about it, sort of ran off their own little discussions here hundreds and there. Hundreds and thousands? Yeah. What has surprised me is the breadth of ideas, the breadth of um, references, and the breadth of depth that has been built through all the submissions, it enriched my understanding of America and what was important to Americans. I think most people kind of wanted to, to move back to a, a stronger, you know, value-based society. 